Hi, my name is Benjamin Sokomba Dazi, also known as Benny D, and I welcome to you to another iClone 8 tutorial. And in this tutorial, we are going to talk about um, how to enhance your scene visually using reflect reflective surfaces in iClone 8. So let's get to it. So we have as you can see i have my character in my scene i've already set up the scene with lights and different um interior furnitures so the goal here is to create um reflective surfaces like mirror and make this floor also reflective so the first thing you do is you click on your plane i've already imported the plane to the scene and set it up here and uh, what you do right now is go to modify uh, under the modify you go to texture settings you see the shader type is already on uh, pbr we want to change it to we want to change it to ref, uh, to reflection surface here so once you go to reflection surface you click on it and boom it's already reflecting it's as easy and straightforward as that now we can see the mirror or we can see the character you can also tweak or modify the mirror once you come to you can see opacity you can put a different type of opacity just to show this the, if you want to make the mirror look glass to have that glass or have just so that it doesn't look too clean or too um more like say too sharp you just you can play with the opacity so it has that glass feel you can see once you play with the opacity you can put different material you can see to make it have to look like a glass not just pure reflection and if you play it you can see it's still reflecting you can also go down and modify it further diffuse color reflection blur but uh, uh, in this particular on this particular mirror surface you don't need the reflection to be blur you can play with the strength reflection strength also and that's how you get that another way for um, for creating like a plane with reflection easier is just to come to this place come to create once you come to create you come to reflection surface once you click it you can see we have a reflection surface in the scene right now so what you just do is resize it to the shape of the of the size of mirror you want you can see the character is already reflecting once you put it there and you can just reshape it to what you want and place it wherever you want to place it that's just another easy uh, method it's quite straightforward let's just delete this since we already have our reflective surface or our mirror here already next thing we are going to do is the the floor on the ground you can see we just have a basic floor but what, what we can do right now is we're trying to make it more reflective you might think it's already reflecting but no this is just it's just reflecting the light it's more of the roughness of the material so same way you click on the floor or the plane or the ground and you go to modify when you head to modify see i have my, my textured my textures already set so just come to shader type under texture setting you click on pbr then you go to reflection surface again and boom it's already reflecting so in this case you can see it's blur it's more blur because it's i try to make it blur so it doesn't look like water or doesn't look like glass it needs to look like uh, like floor like marble or something so how i did that is i went to the the modify panel and i under um, shader setting reflection strength just like i told you you can increase the reflection strength or you can reduce it you can make it a little bit 
let's just say 47 reflection blur you can increase the blur but it should be too blurry just depending on what you're looking for i don't want it to be too sharp so it doesn't look like like glass or mirror so just make it a little bit blur i can change the diffuse color i made it darker you can make it uh, brighter but i just decided to make it a little bit darker and that's how you get this particular reflection so let's just play play back and you can see the character is reflecting you see everything in the scene is reflecting the furniture's you can see the furniture's the ceiling and you can see and the good thing is you can see you can still see the material you can see the, the material of the ground of the floor is still there as the texture you can see it's reflecting so let's look at it from this camera i created can now see both the mirror and the floor actually reflecting so this is how you create reflection in iClone 8 to enhance the vi your visuals in your scene it gives it more life it makes it more realistic and makes the whole project more interesting so i hope uh, this was straightforward and i hope you can use this in your scene and in your projects and make more uh, beautiful more realistic scenes in your project so this is how you create reflective surface in iClone 8. Thank you for having me again. Until next time.